Hello everyone, it's Helder here. Today I wanted to go ahead and review this uh, spork made by a company called the Smiling Tools. This is a titanium spork, so it is a fork, spoon, and they claim that it's a bit of a knife also, and uh, I'll go into detail uh, on that a bit further in the review. Uh, what I have here is a couple of my bags, alright, this one is more of my go bag. Uh, that I have out with me in the field, and this is what I utilize for traveling uh, purposes. I do a lot of traveling uh, with uh, Natural Training Center as far as uh, teaching our method around the world, so I need something that's going to be TSA safe, TSA approved, and have the uh, added little comforts uh, that I need while I am in these uh, strange areas uh, traveling. So a lot of times in the uh, airport, uh, restaurants that I really don't trust, especially sometimes in these uh, third world countries, it's nice to have something with me that I can trust. And the fact that this is made of titanium makes it non-toxic, non-corrosive, non-magnetic, which is nice so it won't interfere with any of the other electronics that I might keep in here. You know, I'm always making videos and uh, reporting back to our Natural Training Center members, so that's something that I definitely need to take into account. Um, even though a lot of our uh, mentality, let's say, is towards a, uh, a preparedness aspect. All right, well, at the same time, we need to train in that preparedness aspect. So that's where all these other little factors end up coming in, uh, including the traveling. Now, one of the aspects that I really like about uh, sporks in general, especially more of these high quality uh, titanium sporks, is the convenience factor. Uh, when I'm out in a field, uh, hiking, backpacking, trekking, or just uh, hanging with my dogs and a few of the NTC members trying to enjoy nature, I want to keep things as simple as possible, right? And having a, a tool like this that I can easily, easily utilize, uh, step outside on a stream and just be able to rinse it off in a uh, camping situation, you know, there's a lot of, uh, of a mess that we end up creating while we're cooking and, you know, and things of that nature, right? So just being able to wash one thing as opposed to two or three things uh, just adds a little bit more to the enjoyment uh, that we can have out there on the trail. Uh, as I mentioned uh, earlier, okay, uh, these sporks, all of them have little nuances. You can tell this one has uh, the two middle uh, uh, fork dens, let's say, are a little bit longer than the two side ones. All right, so once again, this is all personal preference of what feels better to you and what you like. Uh, for me, as long as the food goes in my mouth, you know, I'm pretty, pretty uh, happy with it, all right? Uh, as long as all the other aspects that I gave you uh, and uh, good points go along with it. We have this uh, serrated edge here, okay, that they say it's a three-in-one tool, right? So uh, you got your fork, you got your spoon, and you have your knife. Uh, first of all, all of us out in the field, we have a, a plethora of knives usually on us, so I'm not as concerned. But uh, compared to other four, uh, sporks that I've reviewed, this actually has a bit more of an edge uh, than most of the other uh, sporks that you're going to find out there. Once again, I wouldn't utilize this, let's say, as a knife, but it's pretty cool uh, for, let's say, I was out on the trail, I was crushing some avocados, mixing some tuna together. You know, it really helped uh, to be able to uh, break that up you know, as opposed to using my knife, you know, on some stainless steel or whatever and, you know, getting it a bit more dull and so on and so forth. All right, so just a uh, convenience and again, what is going to work for you? So going back to uh, personal preference, uh, we have this standard here. Keep in mind that I will put all the uh, specs as far as the length and weight and all that other stuff. I know a lot of people ask for that. So I will put that on the blog post on coachholder.com as usual. So here is a, let's say, standard fork or a salad fork or whatever that you would have uh, at home in your kitchen, right? That I have at home in mine. So you could tell the, uh, the differences and the similarities, all right? If you were to use, let's say, a bigger fork, all right? You can tell that this one is definitely a little bit uh, smaller, but once again, it has to go for what is your practical application? What are you utilizing out there? If you're gonna go ahead with those pre-made food bags that are super long, you're probably gonna need a uh, longer utensil because this isn't gonna work for you. But for my needs, for what I need, a spoon that I would use at home, this one that I would use in the field, um, the fact that it is, has uh, the form factor that it has here, it's a lot easier to scoop out of certain bags and certain containers, and that's why the uh, manufacturers went ahead and uh, came up with this, uh, let's say, clever design to be able to get and scoop into those little corners that you might not be able to get with, uh, with a round spoon. All right, so there is uh, some, um, some good ingenuity and thought processes uh, that went into this. When I am, uh, for my own practical, practical application, of course I'll use little pots uh, while I'm in a field to cook, but my canteen cup, uh, as most of you know, is always with me, always on my pack, if I could get it out of its container, right? So this ends up working perfectly for what I need. 
all right so it goes in there right whether i'm using the spoon end whether i'm using the fork end once again personal preference what are you going to utilize it for that's what i'm trying to show is the features uh when i do these reviews the rest is really up to you um, as far as uh, this being extremely lightweight, extremely durable, okay? These are harder to bend than the average spork uh, that I own and have reviewed in the past. I guess they have this extra, let's say, uh, ribbing or reinforcement that they have here that keeps it from bending. And I've had a, a few of our members that have other sporks that are excellent sporks, but once we throw them in our bags and kind of discard them in a field and lean up against them or other things that we have packed, uh, a gear kind of presses up against them, they start to bend a little bit. Right? And now, you know, some people get very annoyed with that. And uh, with this one, I don't think that you'll uh, have that trouble. All right, once again, if I really try, of course, I'm going to bend it. Right? But uh, as far as just incidental contact, uh, you're going to be good to go. Um, so it's uh, relatively inexpensive, which allows us to have uh, multiple sporks, whether it's for the, our family, for our tribe, members, or even just uh, for myself, you know, it's lazy and forgets to take stuff out of one pack and put it in another. So, you know, I prefer having a few different ones. That way they're always in a the pack. They're always good to go. One less thing that I need to think about either for my preparedness or even just to uh, be able to enjoy my time that much more while I'm out in the field, right? We want to make everything comfortable so that we enjoy more. And the more that we enjoy and the more people that we have uh, uh, direct correlation with, right? And show them this stuff and they go out there and they enjoy because they have uh, gear that's helping them, you know, uh, bring a little bit of home out there with them, uh, so to speak, whether they are traveling, whether they're boating, whether they're backpacking, whether it's just something you're going to keep in case of an emergency. Uh, this is something that you definitely uh, should consider adding to your gear. All right, this is Helder. That's it for this review. I really hope that you enjoyed it.